In this video, we'll be discussing the Reynolds number. The Reynolds number is a dimensionless quantity to help determine if a fluid flow will be laminar flow or orderly flow. This is depicted at the bottom right as multiple layers of fluid that are all going parallel and in the same direction rightward. Turbulent flow or chaotic flow. This is depicted at the top right as flow that is going chaotically in all directions, but in general is going rightward or transient, which is a mixture of both laminar and turbulent flows. The equation for the Reynolds number is inertial force of the fluid divided by the viscous force of the fluid. This is essentially a formula that compares the inertial force, or force that keeps the fluid moving, to the viscous force, or internal resistance for the fluid to flow, which allows us to compare to tested amounts to determine if the Reynolds number is laminar, transient, or turbulent. If the Reynolds number is below 2,300, it is laminar. If the Reynolds number is between 2,300 to 4,000, it is transient. If the Reynolds number is 4,000 or above, it is turbulent. So rule of thumb is that if the Reynolds number is smaller, the flow will be more laminar. And if the Reynolds number is larger, the flow will be more turbulent. Breaking down the Reynolds number equation further, it is the density or mass of fluid divided by the volume of fluid in kilograms per meter cubed multiplied times the velocity of the fluid relative to the object the fluid is moving through in meters per second multiplied times the length or characteristic dimension which is dependent on the convention for your particular application. For pipes, many times radius or diameter of the pipe is used. For aircraft or ships, sometimes length or width is used. For non-circular objects, the equivalent diameter may be used. The length or characteristic dimension uses the units of meters. This is all divided by the dynamic viscosity of the fluid, which is the internal resistance of the fluid to flow. It is equal to the kinematic viscosity of the fluid times the density of the fluid. Being that density is in both the numerator and the denominator of the formula, it can be canceled out. We are left with the velocity times the length divided by the kinematic viscosity being equal to the Reynolds number. In case you are wondering, the kinematic viscosity is equal to the dynamic viscosity divided by the fluid density. Looking at this equation, we notice that if one or more of the values in the numerator, velocity or characteristic linear dimension, increase, then the flow will drift closer to being turbulent. There will be a higher Reynolds number. So if the inertial force increases, meaning there is more energy in the fluid, it is more likely the fluid will be chaotic and turbulent. Generally, if there is a larger area or higher velocity, this will cause more energy to be in the fluid at a given cross-sectional point. If one or more of the values in the numerator decrease, then the Reynolds number will decrease and the flow will go towards being more laminar. If the inertial force decreases, then there will be less energy in the fluid. It is more likely the fluid will be orderly and laminar. Generally, if there is a smaller area or smaller velocity, this will cause less energy to be in the fluid at a given cross-sectional point. Now on the other hand, if the values in the denominator, dynamic viscosity or kinematic viscosity, increase, then the Reynolds number will decrease, which will result in a flow that is more towards laminar flow. If the viscous force is greater, meaning there is more resistance for the molecules within the fluid to move, it is more likely that the molecules will remain in a straight path and the fluid flow will be laminar. If the value in the denominator decrease, then the Reynolds number will increase and the flow will go towards being more turbulent. If the viscous force is less, then it is easier for the fluid molecules to change path within the fluid. As a result, the fluid will be more turbulent. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.